Hey, what's up, everybody? Tony with Lava Lita Loka, and this is my mega rega walk in the deck ship tour of the MSC Seashore. <music> All right, let's start off with the cabin. We're in cabin 9276. We're almost at the complete aft of the cruise ship. And I believe this is called a junior mini suite or a mini suite. It's not just your normal balcony cabin, kind of. I mean, I think the size of it is a normal balcony cabin, but the thing that's gonna make it different is the balcony. I'll show you that before we leave, but a pretty standard setup, just so you know. The only power in the cabin is right here. And so you've got two USB A's, two US outlets. And then if you have an adapter, you can, uh, you know, a, a European adapter, you can do that. We got a flat screen TV here. You got some drawers. You got a stool and a table that snugly fit away. You've got this mini bar, which is locked. So I guess it can't really be used as a fridge. Now, I, I, we haven't even been on the ship for 24 hours, and then in less than 24 hours, we'll be long gone. So we have not unpacked. We did get a couple extra flat sheets. The weirdest thing so far in this cabin is the bed only came with this comforter and a duvet, no flat sheet, and it came with four pillows. We got one extra pillow. Uh, got my CPAP set up there so I can sleep. There is one USB on this side of the bed, uh, only on that side. And then I'm having to use my extension cord that I brought to make that connection at night. Uh, closet, there's hanging on the right side. There's cubbies on this left side and a safe. Nothing mind blowing there. And then uh, you got temperature control, light for the bathroom down here. And it's, uh, it's a pretty small bathroom. So a bit of a challenge the way that the, the toilets sat. Uh, to sit inside of there, but it's uh, it's workable. You got some shelf storage there. The other weird thing is, for two days in a row, there's no washcloths. I don't know if, if MSC is a no washcloth deal or if it's just this cabin steward. And then uh, you got the shower pod, which I like the pod. It's got the door. Uh, you got two knobs there, one for temperature, one for water pressure. I always say it on these tours. Uh, it's really kind of unlike most you know, most showers, the fact that you can control the water pressure and the, the temperature right there from that bar. And then it's got a wand, got some shower gel and some a shampoo. But uh, let me tell you what I think makes this a special balcony or junior suite or whatever, it's, it's the balcony. This balcony is almost as many square feet as the, the cabin, I think. And it's pretty nice out here. Uh, of course, today we're at our only port stop. We are at Ocean Key. And uh, this that's the end of the cruise ship there as far as cabins go. And then you got this kind of view. I'm, I'm excited later, though. There's going to be, at 545, there's going to be a light show from the lighthouse. But look at those waves coming in. I guess it'll be a fun day to be in the beach there. But yeah, that's uh, you know, we're here from 7 a.m. to 5. Uh, well, you have to be back on board at 5. I don't think the ship's going to leave until, of course, after the light show. And uh, you can pretty much see Ocean Key continues to be under development from MSC. No pool or anything yet, but there are just, like jet ski rentals. There's food and shops. And then the beach. They're having a beach party in a little bit. It's only like 2 o'clock now. I think the beach party's at 3 o'clock. But uh, yeah, it's this balcony that I think gives uh, gives this room its designation as some sort of mini suite. But, okay, so that's the cabin. Not too in-depth, but it's not, you know, nothing. I do like this art, though. I, I, give me give me some, that's gonna be a theme during this thing. There's gonna be a lot of uh, interesting art throughout the, throughout the ship. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna transport us magically down to deck five. Five, and we're gonna go through all the action decks. The decks where the action is. Surprise, surprise. This isn't deck five, but I did wanna show you what the corridors look like on the ship. I don't know if the floor indicates forward or aft, but we're going forward now. I don't know. I guess if you just look, that makes it look forward, but then 
that makes it, I, I don't know, okay. Uh, deck five. Okay, so th this isn't deck five either, but I wanted to show you they have the smart elevators here. So when you approach it, you just push where you want to go and it'll tell you which elevator to get in. Five, car C. So car C. And uh, they've been working okay. Sometimes it feels like you're waiting a long time, but the nice thing is when you get on the designated car, it takes you right down. So without much further ado, oh, here we go. Let's go to deck five. And uh, this will tell you where, what, where it's gonna stop. And fortunately for us, the only place it's gonna stop is deck five. So like I've been saying, the next thing you're, well, this, we'll look at all these, uh, this is neat. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I thought we were going to deck, uh, deck five. Here we go. All right, so right off the elevators is one of the main dining rooms called the Central Park Restaurant. I tried all night last night to get in to the Central Park Restaurant. I went in at us now. Yeah. They said it's open, open seating. It's just come at tomorrow. Yeah. So get in there early. Yeah, I tried like three times last night to get in. It did. I couldn't get there. Yeah. I don't know if I can just look in here. Uh, it might be locked. Open this leaf first, it says. Let's see if I can just, just look in here. We've got a special dinner reservation tonight at a specialty restaurant, so we're not going to have a chance to eat in this restaurant. So I figure we'll take a quick look. That's nice. I really would have liked to try the, like to try the menu. I tell you what, like another theme for this cruise ship is the fact that they have really kind of seating that's really good for large folks. So even here you see you have a bunch of chairs with no arms. Um, th that's a theme. That's a theme, a good theme throughout this whole ship. We've really enjoyed the fact that everywhere that we can go, kind of being people of size or bigger than normal, or this would even apply to tall people, there's a lot of good seating. So. All right, well, that's a peek at one of the main dining rooms. And we'll continue. We'll continue on five. So the thing that's wild is two elevator banks. There's one here and then the one there. And so you got eight opportunities. And then as we move this way, we really start getting into deck five. Of course, if you see a line and people in uniform, it's a good likelihood that that's the customer service line. And then one thing that MSC does super well are these atriums. So look how, what's wild is that shot of the lighthouse is the actual shot of the lighthouse right now, I think. Or it could be footage. It looks like the same footage as earlier. But you've got the Swartzky crystal stairwells. Then you've got the big atrium bar. Lots of good seating. And so, uh, of course, I mentioned Deck 5 is an action deck, but it's also a passenger cabin deck, too. So there's cabins on this deck. If we go right down the center here, we go into the picture gallery where you can pick up the pictures that you may have purchased. The other cool thing about the ship is it's just really well lit. I mean, the interesting spaces, like in this area, the ceiling feels a little low, but the lighting kind of opens it up a little bit. So this is the hub. This is where you can buy your pictures. They also sell camera gear. Then we have the MSC Foundation. It's an organization that works with UNICEF. Um, I'm not sure all the things that they're into, but here's a little bit of uh, information on it. But it looks like you can make a donation to MSC Foundation. 
get some swag and help some people out. And you've got this, again, a lot of places to sit, which is cool. And then this feature is nice. Say what you want about MSC. They make some beautiful ships. All right. Let's go up a level. So we're now kind of almost to the forward of the ship. This little area here called New York Times. There's tons of shopping here. Of course, the shops are closed while we're in Ocean K. They'll open up tonight, I think at about six. I wanted to show you some of the shops, but um, we got these plans tonight, so have to do it now. They do have an onboard chocolatier, Venchi. And uh, this is a great place where you can get coffee and confections and chocolate. A lot of times when uh, the shop is open, there'll be chefs in this area working on their creations. You'll be able to see that. But um, yeah, if you like the chocolate, this is the spot for you. Uh, did anyone say truffles? Yeah. Truffles for days, so, so good. So New York Times, this spot, they do the trivia. So I was able to sneak in a trivia this morning, which was fun. And then they have two pianos here. So last night I saw a single piano player just killing it, doing super well. But then I think they also have a dueling piano show. But what's interesting is some of the, sh the shops are open. So I know like the MSC, the MSC branded shop is open. So there's some uh, some options. So and then if we go all the way forward on six, I think you have like a back entrance to the theater. It's not really that well uh, labeled. Bathrooms, more seating. And the theater here is called the Madison Theater. Saw a great show last night. Uh, Italian illusionist. And uh, I tell you what, this, <laughs> this has been my best theater experience in a while, and I'll show you why. Oh. I've got juggling. So the, the great thing about this theater is they have some oversized seats kind of as part of the, the full seating. So a lot of times there'll be some bigger seats just toward the back. But in the theater here, they've got these oversized seats, which is nice. I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, but some amazing four club work. Wow. Look at this, triples. That's beautiful, man. Well, that's a treat for me as a juggler uh, to see somebody. That guy was killing it. That guy was killing it. Bonus. So there's a show I haven't got to see yet. It's not even a show. I haven't been to the venue yet. But there's a cabaret on the ship that from 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., I'm assuming you can go and like, get drinks. And then there's going to be variety acts. So I'm going to try to get over there tonight. All right, I came back to New York Times because I realized... I didn't do a great job of uh, saying why it's called New York Times. They've used uh, some practical and some digital effects to really kind of give you that, I think it's called Times Square. 
there's really no name. I, I think Times Square is probably the more appropriate name, but either way, uh, that's where the trivia is. Shops, so like the boutique place is open. I don't know why some shops are open and some aren't. Perfume and cosmetics still closed. And then uh, it's the other side of the chocolatier. There's some great chocolate art down here. It looks like the the liquor store is open, and you can some of the perfumes are open. So you got liquor and snacks, smokes, liquor snacks, smokes, which is cool. Um, it looks like you can buy some speakers, gelato shakes. That's at the chocolate place. And then look at this. This is chocolate. This is uh, sculpted chocolate. Pretty impressive. Mermaid. Then you got this sculpture right here. More fun stuff to pick up. I do like this. Like, I don't really collect ship models, but those pewter ship models are pretty cool. They do have Lego on board. This is the MSC Lego. And of course, they're teddy bears. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool options for stuff to buy. Purses and perfumes, jewelry. And then that brings us back to deck six mid to the atrium. And they start to feature some of their bars. This is the sunshine bar, the shine bar. A lot of this stuff will be full now. The interesting thing, and I believe it's true, and we'll have to look, but I believe every bar on MSC has a cappuccino or espresso machine, I guess is more correct. But uh, you can get your coffee drinks everywhere. You don't have to go anywhere special for that. More seating. Of course, these chairs have arms, which can be a little bit of a challenge, but it's mixed with a nice couch area, which, uh, makes it super fluffy friendly and then uh, this tug has been off of i don't see a line going to the ship but this tug has been out there all day it's cool man look at the look at the openness the chrome the browns the blacks i think maybe that's why i like it and then you throw in the purple it definitely is definitely feels like uh, my kind of vibe Let's see what's on this side here. I'm kind of exploring the ship for the first time with you guys, being only on it for less than 24 hours. I don't have a good sense of all these decks. This is the excursion spot. Book your excursions there. And then this is just more seating. It almost mirrors the seating or mimics the seating of the other side. You got those same chairs. You got couches. And then an interesting thing is when you check in for MSC, you don't have to put your payment method on file. And so they have all these kiosks where you can come put your credit card on file. They did make an announcement that people needed to do that. Take a quick look at the crystal staircase. Pretty. Not sure how far back we can go on deck six. Hmm. This is the Tribeca restaurant. So I think there's, there might be three main dining rooms. They're all in essentially the same spot. You've got one on five and on six. We'll have to peek up there on seven and see if it's there. But um, maybe it's not. But Tribeca and then the one we saw on five. Two more elevator banks. These touch screens that can help you find your way around the ship. Here's the other elevator bank. So let's ascend. Let's ascend a level. All right. Let's see what's in the middle. I feel like it's a restroom and not a restaurant. Yes. That's the other nice thing when you get on seven and eight. They have restaurants in between the elevator banks, which makes it super easy when you have to go to the bathroom. Okay, so as we make our way back into the atrium on seven, you got the champagne and wine bar area. 
And this is again, uh, very good seating for all shapes and sizes. And so you have basically identical bars on each side. Um, they'll fill this up with ice. I already got some ice in there. They'll put some display bottles on display, uh, the catchy name. Then you have the champagne bar. And what's nice is you got the stage here. So there'll be entertainment here at night. I've seen it on another MSC ship where there's dancers all the way up. But so far on the ship, I've just seen entertainment on that main stage there. Oh no, what is that? The casino. The watch shop is open, which I've been uh, not going into the watch shop because I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm a fan of the G-Shock. But uh, it's the only one G-Shock I'm kind of digging. It's that clear one in the back. I might talk to him before I leave. I don't know. And then this is the other side with seating. So if we make our way toward the aft of seven, this opens up to a restaurant area. And then it also has the cabaret I was talking about. So this is the Fifth Avenue restaurant, which I believe is a specialty restaurant. Fifth Avenue. I'm not sure if that's specialty or not. Then you've got this uh, kind of cool hyperspace deal. Oh. At the Manhattan restaurant. I think that could be their steakhouse. I mean, this is the place I got to check out tonight. Le Cabaret Rouge. Whether, yeah. So it's kind of styled in a French cabaret. Life is a cabaret, oh yeah. And the way this has been kind of marketed is, you know, three or, or 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., 10.30 p.m., 10 and a half hours, 10 and a half hours. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the way that this has been marketed is 7 p.m. to 10.30 p.m., three and a half hours. And so, yeah, it's a cool looking venue. But it looks like uh, you want to try to get here and get one of these seats so you can see what's going on. Of course, got a bar up here. It's uh, pretty cool. I have to come back and check out, check out the show. Check out the show. All right, I'm gonna backtrack and we'll go forward on deck seven. So uh, instead of making that walk, let's just magically train. Oh wait, I forgot. I saw this photo up as we walked by. There were people there. I didn't want to bother them. You have a stationary bicycle. I don't think this is the gym, but there is a stationary bicycle there. And whammo bammo, look at this. You can get your picture made inside of a balloon. I think somebody take a picture of me inside the balloon. Very cool. I know I promised the other side of deck seven, but uh, I just want to show you some of this theming. Pretty nice costume. Pretty cool. Uh, we'll take a quick walk through the casino. We'll just try to get right out of here with it. Excuse me. Yeah. It's open right now. I don't know if any of the table games are open, but we'll make a quick, make a quick pass through. What's nice about this casino, what's nice about this casino is it's non-smoking got this big bar in here which 
try to do a more in-depth casino tour, but I don't want to bother anybody. But you got table games open over there. There's a craps game going, blackjack. It's pretty sweet. And then as we come through the, all the way forward on deck seven, you have the top entrance to the Madison Theater. It's called MSC Signature Casino. How about that? All right, let's make our way up to deck eight. We're all the way forward on deck eight. So we should be able to make one big swoop of this action deck. And then we will, uh, then we'll go outside. All right, so here, deck eight, you have the spa area. So we've got, it's like the entrance. You got a barber shop, a little hair cutting going on. It's nice, you have the fitness center. Wow, this is nice and open. Again, all kinds of seating. They've got cardio equipment, they got weights. It's your spa check in. And then that takes you back to all the spa area. A little overcast today, but fairly nice day. Look on the other side here. Just make sure we're not missing anything by going to the aft. Oh, yeah, another entrance to the to the gym. And the business center. I think they have some conference rooms and stuff. They got a private event going. But I think you can book out conference rooms that kind of thing there on deck eight. All right, I didn't notice this, but it's pretty cool. Got a Statue of Liberty. This ship really is dedicated to New York City. And so on top of the uh, casino bar, you've got the Statue of Liberty, which is cool. Very cool. Then you got, they do have a casino for smokers, so they got like their own smoke box. There's Jenny B. Jenny B. Say hello. Hello. Jenny B and her element there. Then we got, what's really wild is, so you have this great sports bar, but there's also slot machines in the sports bar. Sports bar has got all these little cubbies that you can reserve. I think there's a I think there's a Pittsburgh Steelers game in here today. It's a big bar, a ton of slot machines. Uh, look, I did uh, I did take some money off of this Kraken. I'll just show it to you. Come on, unleash the Kraken. Come on, unleash the Kraken. Oh, we've unleashed the Kraken. Oh boy, here we go. This is exciting. What's happening over the Kraken? Kraken reel. Come on, come on, come on, times five. Come on, Kraken reel. Se uh, 70. Wow, let's see what we got. 450, 79, 87, 93, 97, 103, 118, 124. Ooh. Yabadoo. Wow, and I only bought in for 100, so we've unleashed the Kraken. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Again, you got all these cubbies to watch, watch sports. I think it's probably first come, first serve. I don't think these are reserved. I don't see any signs. So you just bring everybody over and grab a seat. Looks like football material. More cubbies. 
And then unshockingly, nice big seats. Lots of great places to sit. You got a hockey mask, boxing equipment, baseball gloves, basketballs. So uh so well themed. Nice big leather couches. I don't want to go too far down here because I want to show you the other side of deck eight, but uh, just a lot of great just a lot of great memorabilia. And then deck eight is kind of their promenade. Like if we were to go outside, we'd be able to walk all the way around the ship. This side of deck eight, outside of the sports bar, is non-smoking, but they actually do have a smoking section on deck eight, and I'll show you how that works out. You got purse sale going on. Swarovski, imagine that. They've got the crystal staircase, and you can also buy some Swarovski. And then you've got the Brooklyn Cafe, which is kind of, you know, it's not dedicated to coffee, but like I said, every bar has a coffee machine. And uh, lots of good seating. They have live jazz in here most nights. Got a nice big bar there that you can partake in. And then outside of the Brooklyn Cafe is a smoking area. So a couple of, MSC is pretty good for the smokers. If you like smoking, they have several places and they're nice places like sometimes smokers are regulated to not nice places uh, not the case here definitely some nice uh, options for the smokers so i'm more and more thinking that my prediction about the shops opening late or incorrect this is called liberty plaza again with some new york theming but it seems like the shops are opening up this place really kind of grabbed me today of course this is their art uh, gallery I don't know if they're doing art auctions. I haven't seen anything like that on this short cruise. Got another excursion desk up here. But man, some really nice, sometimes you go on these cruise ships and the art's a little cheesy, I guess. I don't know if that's fair to say, but uh, these are at least a little, kind of a more modern take on it. I, I just like the way that this is uh, laid out. I like how it says, touching can harm the art. Of course, right next to the art gallery, we have the MSC shop. This is all their branded stuff. Uh, of course, I already, I think I have this, unless they've issued a new one. But this is, I think, the only official cruise ship Lego. Uh, there's some knockoff stuff, but Lego officially brands these MSC sets. And then uh, in the back, there are more Lego and all the accessories that you'd want. Hats and playing cards and magnets and we've got places for like casino desk port shopping they have a lot of space here now this place i think this is specialty it's not open the only thing open for lunch is the um buffet but this is a taco spot <laughs> The, the thing I'm regretting the most about this short cruise is the inability to try some of these places. So this is Ola Tacos and Cantina. Another espresso machine. You guys thought I was kidding. Probably didn't think I was kidding, but... Yeah, so you've got this... Looks like they have chopsticks, though. I wonder if this is some sort of fusion place. Fusion. Now, I don't, I, I guess maybe some people will feel like this is too dark, the dark woods and stuff, but like I said, it's kind of my, it's my aesthetic. And then uh, as we continue our way back on eight, you have the wine cellar, which is a wine cellar. I think they have wine tastings. This is uh, pretty amazing. This wine's everywhere. And then uh, I think you can get wine by the glass here. Hmm. Not sure. Butcher's Cut. Okay, so this is their steakhouse. The Butcher's Cut. This is this whole next section is gonna just make me so sad that I'm only on here for a day or two. 
And that's teppanyaki. So I don't think that's, uh, that's different than the butcher's cut. So the butcher's cut entrance is there, but teppanyaki must enter somewhere else. And then boom, imagine this. Good seats and a lot of it. There are 5,000 people on board, so it makes sense that they have, uh, you know, the need for a lot of seating. And so there's the entrance to the teppanyaki, which is really nice looking. You make your especially restaurant reservations right here. So, and then this is the Kaito Sushi Bar. And this is what I'll be trying later. Out of all the specialty, how could I not try this? It's wild, like it's not even, it's like magnet magic. All the sushi you can eat for 45 minutes for only $39 a person. That's, uh, that's what we'll be doing. We'll be slamming sushi for 45 minutes. Seven o'clock reservation, I've skipped lunch. Uh, so I can live up to the task. And uh, there's more seating back here for this next restaurant. This one's called the uh, Ocean K. I believe it's seafood. Another nice restaurant. I'll take a peek inside. See what it looks like. Yeah, just nice. No arms on the chairs. It's, um, it's appreciated. I haven't seen a place yet where we couldn't sit or eat or that's not always the case. So like I said, much appreciated. And then uh, we'll pop outside for the first time. There the downtown lounge over here. This was closed for a private event last night. Take a quick look. Oh. Oh, they're having karaoke in here. Oh, that would be fun. It's a nice looking lounge. And some karaoke. Alright, outside we go. Now this is the smoking area on deck eight. So like I said, deck eight goes all the way around the ship. And there's a smoking area over by the Brooklyn Cafe, the smoking area back here. And then this is the aft pool area. Got a bar, probably a little more overcast than what people wanted today, but got two kind of easy entry pools, which is nice. And then, uh, you know, of course, one of the features of the ship is the design on the back going all the way up to the bridge of size, which is nice. And then uh, our cabin is just right there. The one balcony you can see our cabin, which is, like I said, pretty well positioned. I'll go up here and take a, take a look at the infinity bar on the side. And there's also a bar on the other side, I believe. Go take a look at the, after the ship. Of course, we're not moving, so it'd be better to do it when we're moving. So I'll check that out maybe when we're moving. And of course, this is an elevator bank that goes all the way up, down. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll go up to 16. This looks like the gelato place, but... Oh yeah, it's branded the same as the chocolate place. And this whole area back here is uh, 18 only, 18 and up. So. All right, let's pop back inside, head up to 16. Go. 
Probably the best elevator ride on the ship. Up, up, and away. So this is a this place kind of serves a couple purposes. Normally this this bar is open, and then of course we got the bridge of size here. And then uh, as we enter in deck 16 from the back of the ship, you've got a hand washing station here, and then this is the marketplace buffet. It takes up most of the most of it takes up about half of 16. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Get some lunch selections out. Ooh. Don't get hung up on the sweets. Look at those cream puffs. Mm. Very nice. Again, it's really kind of... I just like the theming of this place. It's very nice looking. I don't know what this is aligned for. Maybe it looks like ice cream or something. Excuse me. Decent seating. Quite a bit of food selection too. Ooh. I love corn on the cob. I just noticed some corn on the cob over here. So we got some more selections here. And, uh, and it's just, there's just tons of stations here. Like, it's really nice. There's no matter where you enter in the buffet and where you want to sit, nice salad bar. The thing I really love about their buffet is there's green olives at every serving breakfast, lunch, dinner. Good fresh fruit section. I think they have the best coffee at sea. They brew the coffee right there. So that was really only half of the buffet. So we're trying to make our way out to the to the pool in the middle of deck 16. And you got a whole nother set of buffet. R really is massive. <laughs> They have the kids uh, only buffet, which is cute. It's a little shorter. Kid stuff, fish sticks, chicken fingers, pastas. And just a ton of seating. So it's uh, pretty amazing. I'm going to stop and get a Stop for a water break. All right, here we go. Making our way out of the buffet, continuing to the midship of 16. And this kind of looks like a, the family pool area. Looks like there's a jungle beach bar, which kind of could be. It's like it's closed. Man, this looks like a, a lot of family area. stuff. And then we'll climb up these stairs to deck 17.
Oh, we got more uh, jungle theming. And we got some uh, got some games. We got shuffleboard. Got looks like we got ping pong over there. Nice seating again. Pool table. Looks like a lot of this is dedicated to the kids. I am enjoying all this connection to Lego. So we got this Lego sailor there. And then we're still up on 17. As we kick it back further, I think this might be like an arcade. This ship's massive. Again, I've, I'm probably going to miss parts of it. But um, yeah. I guess that's why you maybe go for more than this. I'm really, I mean, look, I'm excited that I did the two day. It's really giving me a flavor of it. But I want to find this class of ship again and do some of the stuff. Wow, so yeah, this is like the arcade area. The F1 simulator over there. Fun pass. This place is wild looking. F1 simulator. Air hockey. Basketball games, bowling games. Pinball, seating, shootout. Wow, lots of stuff. I mean, this is a whole nother like water slide kid area. So this is, how's it going? Got like a ropes course. It's a really fun kid themed area. Got this water slide coming down from the top. It's pretty wild. Let's go up and see, I think there's a sports deck up here. Wow, you got a slide on this side too. Come on. Got a basketball game going. Water slide on each side. There's a lot going on. Looks like they could possibly have some pickleball time there. Overcast in the Bahamas. Then you got the main pool area. Look at all those deck chairs. There's just a lot of room on this ship. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. I'm at the, uh, I'm at the termination spot of these two slides, but I really wanted to show you this is what uh, Ocean Key is all about. That nice little swimming area with the lighthouse. This is the main beach area right now, but there is tons, tons of room to develop jet skis. I think they've really only just tapped the surface of what they're doing here. And uh, you know, I don't know if they'll ever be as developed as some of the other cruise lines that we see, but as they continue to develop, uh, it's just gonna get nicer and nicer. But can't wait in just a few hours we'll have that lighthouse show uh, all right I'm gonna go back to the uh, I'm gonna go one more spot and uh, we'll wrap this thing up but there you go we're putting ocean K behind us 
I hope you've enjoyed this mega rega walk around ship tour. Has it made you want to try one of these cruise ships, MSC, Seashore, Seaside, uh, others of this class? I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. If you did, please hit that like button. If you want more cruising content, please hit that subscribe button. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.